Hello, my name is Bruno and welcome to the Gallardo Builds uh, Garage. And today I wanted to show you how to paint your wheels. So I'm going to show you prepping, sanding, and masking and painting. So it should be pretty cool. And it's going to be one of the first projects that I get to do here. So let's check it out. So this is the wheel that we're going to be uh, sanding, prepping, and painting. And this is an ESM wheel. There's the brand. So I already painted one rear to figure out the process. And so this is what the stock color comes looking like. And I liked it, but my car is GT Silver. I, di I didn't see it working too well, so I actually wanted to go after like a darker bronze, similar to like a TE37s or like Workmeisters in that bronze. But it took a while to find that color, but I found it. And let's see what the finished result. So here it is. We're here in my little paint booth. And you can see that this is the color that I was after. This is the Fiat color. And you can see that it's got that metallic bronzy effect. And I did a custom uh, center cap logo, which I got off on eBay. But you can see it's so much better already. And it's just, I mean, you're seeing it in the booth right now, but once you see it outside at the end of the video, it's gonna look amazing. So let's get started. So back on the wheel here, um, get out some of the few items that I need to get started and you will need as well. So you will need this blue vinyl tape and I believe this is one eighth of an inch. And then we got the blue painters tape. Uh, you can get it anywhere, Home Depot, whatever. Be, buy yourself a three pack. This is uh, 1.88 inch or something like that. And very important, you're gonna need this uh, fine uh, sanding pad and you're gonna get the purple one, not the green one. The purple one is stronger it etches way faster and you won't waste your time like I did the first time doing that. And you'll see that there's these little lugs in here. And those are just cosmetic. This is not a real three or two piece. This is going to be an experiment and that's why we're doing this. And so you'll need this screwdriver. You'll just flip the wheel over, pop those out, collect them in a the little box here. Got my lugs. So shouldn't be too hard. It's just got to get to it. So now the wheel is sanded about 90%, 95%, and pretty much my goal here was to just take off the gloss coat I had. So you just want to rough that up real quick. And what takes time for me is the design of it. So especially those inside grooves like that's like a two step sort of thing. So getting inside those little pockets is what takes me most of the time, I'd say like half the time at least. But everything else is not too bad but I'm gonna finish this up. So now that you've sanded your wheel with the scotch Bright pad and you've uh, made sure that you have no gloss, all adhesive surface for the paint, you go ahead and start masking. And you can see that I already did the initial masking, the most important part being holding that edge. And that edge where the machine lip is and the painted surface is gonna be, was done with this vinyl tape. What's great about this, it turns with the radius of what you're masking so you can get a clean edge, which is the most important thing. Second, you get this. Uh, green tape, blue tape, shouldn't matter, but the width is kind of fitting in that groove, so that saves us a lot of time. And then that just allows us to get the tape into that little area flatten along and squeeze out and overlap your tape and that's going to ensure that you have your machine surface nice and masked and uh, no overspray will get in. Alrighty, now that you've uh, masked 
and uh, sanded the wheel. You're gonna be using prep ball to remove all the contaminants off the surface. It's gonna make a nice uh, tacky surface for our paint to go on. And what else is gonna help me today is I just literally got like a bar stool thing that you have for your shop, Harbor Freight. And I clamped it down so it doesn't fall off the table, of course. But this just allows me to paint it. So the idea is I'm gonna paint, rotate, paint, rotate, paint, and you'll see me struggle with that. But uh, I think I got it figured out here. So let's just get started. Put the base coat down, did about two, three layers, and I went as fast as I could because I had a 45 minute window to paint all these. So you see me shuffling, painting, spinning, painting, and obviously it's gonna turn out pretty good from here, but not when you get up close. So I marked off little spots with little fresh tape to remind me, okay, I need to spray in there. And some of these rims have kind of light spots on the inside of the mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead get another layer on and try to focus on those areas not too much because the point is I'm gonna be painting these so I thought let's just fix these get them perfect paint these guys and then clear it all together and the projects done So after I thought it was done and would like to say that this is finished, but um, fortunately uh, haze up when I was removing the tape and it laid down absolutely perfect, but it seemed like the paint was activating and drying up, causing these very tiny micro bubbles. And some wheels got it worse and I'm assuming it's the wheel that got painted last. This wheel wasn't too bad but this one got it kind of bad. And you can see uh, those little white dots right there. And those are kind of like the bubbles. So I've gotten them open and sanded down. And this one with to 400 down and up to 800 to try to see if I can smooth everything out. But I was already hitting the, the base coat here. So I'm gonna have to recoat this. Let the paint go over that surface where it got those that nasty texture i'm actually gonna just shoot a regular clear because uh the kit the coat was nice but seemed a little bit thin and seems like it's not going to protect it that well so i'm just going to go with a clear coat thicken it up a little bit increase the protection longevity and uh also be easier to clean Alrighty, now that the wheels are done and wrapped in their new rubber looking at how they turned out they turned out really nice you can see that I just applied the clear coat. Uh, it was just so much easier, uh, much more straightforward to work with. So I had to look around to get these guys mounted, these uh, wide 11 inch. So that's what took a little bit of time, but they're finally on and looking good. Let's get these tires mounted, huh?
So finally got the car lowered and on the wheels now. It's a little dark right now, but it's fine. We're here in sunset. And this one is gonna be pretty much representing the rest of them with the badge. So I still gotta do it to the rear. Final thoughts, the wheels are nice. I love them, they look great. Downside is they did gain a little bit of weight. So initial acceleration I've noticed is a slightly slower, but it's not really a big deal. Once I put it in sport mode, it, it almost it doesn't feel any different. It's more like a, the non-sport mode where you notice that it takes a little extra torque to turn those wheels more offset so i got a little bit more grip it's not exactly a performance upgrade it's an aesthetic upgrade but now it looks as good as it sounds and it's just getting a little closer to my vision so let me know if uh, how i can improve this video i just started so anyways thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye